All right, uh, now let's have you guys uh, set up with passing groups. Passing groups and a serving group and then hitting. This is called 0, 10, 20. All right, this is another um, example of a finishing drill that I like to do. The passers are uh, playing against the servers. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. And the passers have to pass three passes to get a point, and they start at 10. Their goal is to get to 20. The servers want the passers to get to zero. So what I really like about this is the passers might get down to five by having bad passes, but they end up working their way up and it might take some time to get to 20 and finding a way to get the job done to finish the drill. Rather than just doing 30 reps this way, it forces them to really focus and find a way to finish the drill. Um, another element that I like to do with this is add in hitters and a blocker. We had a male practice player who would block against the middles and right sides. That's how they would get their reps, which were more game-like for us during practice. And if the hitters made an error, that was a minus one. So that's something that you can progress into, but that way the hitters aren't just going through the motions. They have to hit against a tough block or someone on their team's block, and they're just making sure that they're uh, making good decisions with what they're hitting. And I try to give them feedback whether it's a good decision or a bad decision. So why don't we get this started? You guys can go ahead and serve. We're, you guys are starting with 10. Two missed serves in a row is a point. So you guys are still at 10. Oh, so you guys have 11. Nice pass. So you guys are at 12. And then eventually you can add in that hitting dimension. So that was a zero pass, so that's minus one down to 11. Good, back to 12. And after they get uh, three good passes, those passers can rotate but it really helps the servers also be aggressive because the servers are also trying to win the drill. There were times where our team was really struggling with this drill and what our setter would do, who was a very good leader and our captain, is she would ask me, is it okay if I talk to the group? Absolutely. There are times when they were struggling with uh, 30 in a row and 40 in two minutes. I encourage that they stop the drill on their own if they're having a really hard time finishing it huddling up and talking to each other and finding a way to finish. That teamwork, having them work through that to finish the drill is really helpful. Nice up, good. And I really like the hitting element of that. It also shows um, like we would have uh, the kind of guts that our setter had. She could just set high back sets to our right side the whole time, but she worked really hard to set that 31, or we call it a C set, even with passes that were off the net to work with our hitters. It showed me that she had guts once again. She could have made the easy decision and just set it back, but she had guts and she was still had faith in her team to get a point, even though the, the pass wasn't ideal. She found a way to still work that middle in. And those are conversations that you can have with your setter. You want them to challenge themselves. All right, good job, you guys.